Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a very short video for you that will show you how to change the menu in Weebly. Just before I get into it, if you've not used Weebly before or if you want to check it out or if you need access to a free trial version, click the link in the description down below and that will take you straight there to your very own free trial version of it. So in Weebly, as you can see, you know, I'll kind of show you when you browse the different um, templates of websites. If you look closely at the menu itself, they're all very, very similar. There isn't a huge range of things that you can do to the menu. You can add a logo, you can change the text, you can turn that on and off. Um, I mean, you can add your own you know, image as a logo. You can upload your own image. So that's about as big as it gets really for customization. Beyond that, in terms of you know, significantly changing the way the menu looks, it's not very possible. Um, and you'll see what I mean in a second. So, you know, the only really thing that you can do is is change how it's structured and in the order that it appears, the font and the sort of, you know, color palette of it would de depend on the theme of your site. So there's no way of changing it, you know, just the menu independently. I mean, obviously you can, you can go and change fonts and, you know, you can see that you can actually change that particular font there and change the size of it. And, you know, you could give it a bit more space in between the letters and, you know, things like that. You can customize it in terms of the way it looks as in text. Um, so that's quite a higher level of customization. Uh, but in terms of much else, I mean, to create a sub menu out of it, for example, um, all you need to do is is go to the pages menu and, and click and drag these pages in a little from the left hand side and you can see that it's now sort of collapsed and, and created this kind of sub menu and you can make you know sub sub menus within sub menus by clicking it and dragging it a little further to the right um, so you can see that it's kind of you know constructed it a little bit differently like that so that is one way of making it very different and you just undo that by clicking them and, and dragging them all to the left and you can see that they appear back. You'll also see that the order in which they appear in this list on the left hand side corresponds directly to the order in which they appear on the page. So if you drag the page contact up and drop it between home and portraits, you can see that it updates there on the page. And if I drag it back to the bottom of the list, it'll go then to the far right. Um, if I click it to the left, it'll appear there. And that's it. That's what you can do to the menu. So that concludes the video tutorial. Like I said, if you haven't tried Weebly before, give it a click in the link in the description below. That'll take you through to a free trial version. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of that nature, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them as comments down below. Thank you very much.